ride down there until I know where I'm going. I'm sitting right here. Hey, why don't you load this on the car? Hey guys, take it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm back here at Spanish Bay because you just never know what surprise is waiting for you. We saw the LaFerrari, what was it, yesterday, two days ago, new 360 Spider. We have the 488 GTB. Check out this McLaren 675 LT. It's got the roof scoop. It has the louvers. This car is specced to the limit. And then we have the F12 Berlinetta. But, dun dun dun, the Lexus LFA. This one is the highly rare Nürburgring edition. There's only 500 Lexus LFAs in the world. The last 50 of them are the Nürburgring edition. I've talked a lot about sort of investment grade supercars. A Nürburgring LFA, in my mind, is a car to have. What an absolute monster. Quite possibly the best sounding V10 in the world. It's gotta either be the LFA or the Porsche Carrera GT. Love the exhaust setup on this car. And then we gotta check out this LT real quick as well. It's got the bare carbon bits right there. This is just the beginning of an insane day. So the quail is today. Traffic is an absolute nightmare on Carmel. So I'm kind of avoiding to go there for as long as possible. Maybe in about an hour or two, though, I'll be able to sneak in. I sat in traffic for about two hours, but I am finally here at the quail. I'm gonna head over to the event, but as I was turning my head around, I noticed two very special cars over there. Let's go check them out. Now, bear in mind, guys, this is the parking lot of the quail, the parking lot. Just imagine what is inside of the show if this right here is in the parking lot the Ferrari LaFerrari and the Porsche 959. Now you guys will recognize this LaFerrari. This is the exact same car that I saw in that underground garage in Salt Lake City, Utah. He owns the 959 as well. Both of these cars were driven out from Utah. Absolute ballers. You can just see the road trip these guys have been on. May have had a mishap there with the windshield. Also, note, Montana plates, the theme of Monterey Car Week. So, there you have it. That is the first stop in the parking lot. Let's go see what else we can find. Casual, just casual. We have an Aventador SV Roadster flanked by a TDF and another TDF. They're just here parked in a ditch. The quail. Still just strolling through the parking lot, and now here in the hills of Carmel, we have Flex Nation. Mmm, Verde Ithaca. Once again, just casually parked. Another TDF. 722. Couldn't just get the standard SLR McLaren. Ventador. Oh. And the Porsche 918 Spider because car week. Oh, and <laughs> not to be outdone, F12, eh, FF, meh, 993 Turbo, eh, Carrera GT, next to a 599 GTO. Oh, I see, where was it, like <laughs> I'm looking at these cars, or the camera's looking at these cars, but I'm not, because I'm noticing I am noticing what's over here on the other side of the street. Just your casual 
car park here in Monterey. I see that 918 right there, but then I see this 918 over here. And this one is slightly closer. So we'll take a quick look at this one as well. There is no preferential treatment here in Monterey. Ooh, first gen Gallardo. Black series with bad wheels. Speciali. Look at the color on this 918. Is that a factory color? That has to be a wrap, right? It has to be. Yeah. I don't know if it is. It must be. And then more and more, we got the Heritage 4 GT. Aventador. SV Roadster. Hmm, I like that paint. That's nice. Kind of a holy grail type supercar for myself. This is like the Lamborghini of my era. A balloon white LP640 Roadster. Yeah, cool little 4C. Holy moly, another F12 TDF. Oh wait, my giant head is in the way. That's for you, holy moly man. What is this, four F12 TDFs in this parking lot alone? There's only 799 of them in the world. What have we seen? Have we seen three yellow ones? No, two yellow ones. I don't know, I can't keep track. Hashtag car week. Don't even ask, okay? So I'm here at the Quail, and I immediately came to the Lamborghini stand for the worldwide unveiling of the new Lamborghini Centenario Roadster. So I saw the coupe, which is full carbon, when I was at the Lamborghini factory in Italy a few months ago. But this car in sort of this, this satin ice silver, oh, it is such an improvement. This is the Roadster. There's only going to be 20 of them built. There's also 20 coupes. The wheel design on these cars is crazy. The mix of carbon. And if we can sneak inside the interior real quick. This car is gorgeous. And my favorite design element is here around the back. That rear diffuser, those knife edges, the triple exhaust. What a cool opportunity it is to see this car. So naturally, I am going to be waiting here for hours until they unload this car to try to get some exclusive footage of the new Centenario Roadster. Wow, what an awesome car. You killed it, Lamborghini. So naturally, the second stop here at the Quail is obviously the Koenigsegg stand, the new Regera, and then the Agira XS. So this car is an Agira RS. There's a couple design modifications that are a little bit unique to this specific one, including the oversized rear wing. But this Regera, I've seen a lot of pictures. I saw it in the baby blue. This is my first time seeing it here in real life. And wow, I am blown away. This car has so much more presence sitting here than it does in pictures. Koenigsegg, you killed it again. I am sold. The dream still lives on to someday own a Koenigsegg.
the Stradman himself. I'm interviewing him after I just read my card. This, his request. this is the owner of the Koenigsegg Agira XS. Congratulations. This car is incredible. My ears, they are still ringing. It is mental. And the wing. This is the largest wing ever fitted on a Koenigsegg. Full carbon. Oh my goodness. Congrats, man. Thanks, bro. This is the Cody 57 NG. Today is its worldwide debut. It has a 6 liter V12 good for 612 horsepower. And the door design on this car is pretty wild. It reminds me of the Lycan Hypersport. Sort of those reverse suicide type doors. I don't even know how to describe it. Got the quilted leather seats. I mean, they've got a couple new experiences. Pretty wild interior. Get a look at those doors. Working our way around the back. I think the tail light design is pretty cool. How it sort of just floats there. Crazy looking diffuser. If I could own just one car in the entire world, just one, and I had to choose, I had unlimited resources, money was no object, this would be the car, the McLaren F1, the legend. Absolutely love this car, it's such an icon. I remember seeing this in Road and Tracker, Car and Driver, you know, I was like eight to 10 years old, and I was just blown away seeing this car, the three-seater layout where the driver sits dead center. There's only 64 road-going cars in the world, and then there's five prototypes. Well, this is prototype number four. Let's go check it out. This thing, oh my goodness. This car held so many performance records for over a decade. It was the world's fastest production car. Absolutely love the design of this car. That split rear window is so cool. You can see the XP4. And then getting another look inside. What an icon. Oh! I would say someday, but I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm here on the Pagani stand to check out the new Waira BC. Some of you guys might remember when I was in Italy about a month ago on the Raduno rally, we were fortunate enough to bump into another BC. Well, there was a moment when we were standing outside the factory and a BC just absolutely flew by. I remember the hair on my arm stood up and I gained a whole new appreciation for the Waira. I mean, this BC is mental. I'm gonna show you guys that clip right now. The BC is the new Ultimate Waira, limited to 20 units. You can see the revised front splitter there, the carbon. The Waira has always been such a work of art. Whereas the BC is an absolute animal. Of course, the going doors right there. And if we walk around the back real quick, you can see the new carbon wing. And then as you guys can see, there is a lot of other wires here, everywhere. Looks like they're getting ready to roll out here soon, but wow. All right, guys, so this is my buddy, Marketino. Be sure to follow him on YouTube. He's got an incredible YouTube channel. Thanks, man. Now, Marco, yeah. is it Centenario 
or Centenario? Centenario. Centenario, <laughs> there you guys have it. It is the Lamborghini Centenario. We have been waiting for two plus hours to try to get the exclusive startup of the Centenario Roadster. And uh, I don't know how much longer it's gonna be, but I'm exhausted. I just chased the Koenigseggs, the Agira XS and the Regera for a long time. And then the Chiron drove by, but I really, really wanna get footage of this, this Centenario driving on the road. So I'm gonna wait around as long as it takes, guys. I think it's gonna happen. So we're here, just chilling. Centenario's right there. We waited two and a half hours for the car to move, I don't know, 45 odd feet. And now we sit and we wait. But this late evening sun is pretty cool. The other way around. Lamborghinis usually don't have shields like Ferrari. It's a pretty unique design element. I like it better. And then apparently that piece right there is a manual release for the door, we believe, in case the electronic mechanism doesn't work, I guess. The quail is over and there's just a lone Lamborghini Yalpa. I am absolutely exhausted just sitting around waiting for that Centenario to finally be loaded up to get, I don't know, 30 odd seconds of driving footage. So Exotics on Cannery Row is going on right now. And I guess I'm gonna head on over there even though I'm exhausted. But that Centenario, I like it, I really do. And a yellow law Ferrari for good measure. Hi, Centenario. safe to say that the Maserati MC12 would be the absolute most stressful car to ever load up 
This thing is incredibly wide. You know, it shares the same platform as the Ferrari Enzo, but that rear spoiler, it protrudes outward. Look how wide that car is right there. And trying to get it into that semi would be an absolute nightmare. Respect. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the new Ford GT. Now I know a ton of you guys are wondering, did I get an allocation for the GT? Of course not, of course I didn't. They would have never given me one.